I'm Dr. Stephen Scavelli, and this is End Time Revival Ministries. My very special guest for the show is Dr. John Teve. Right. <laughs> Teve, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Dr. Wright. Uh, tonight's topic will be on restoration. Dr. Wright uh, is a uh, pastor, a teacher, and a lecturer at Under the Blood Church in Ybor City. Dr. Wright, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me, Dr. Scavelli. Dr. Wright, the, um, the Webster's Dictionary uh, gives this definition about restoration. The state of being restored to its former good condition. Absolutely. Now, what does the Bible say in Isaiah 61, 7 concerning Israel? Well, in Isaiah 61 and 7, it clearly says, For your shame ye shall have double." And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion, therefore in their land, and they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. And so instead of our shame, mm -hmm. instead of Israel's shame, mm -hmm. it's saying that they will receive a double portion. Okay. Um, instead of disgrace, mm -hmm. that they will, they will rejoice. They will receive rejoicing and receive an inheritance. The mm -hmm. inheritance mm -hmm. shall be theirs. Mm -hmm. um, and then it says you will inherit a double portion in your land. Okay. And every lasting joy shall be yours. Um, and so no matter what, no matter what may come up, the opposition, the trouble, if you just hang in there, you stick with it, you fight, the restoration time has to come. Mm. And everything that is lost, everything that seemed like that was, was taken away or yeah. that was, that was um, stolen from you, sure. double has to come sure. because of the God we serve. And he's faithful mm. to do that. Now, it's interesting, uh, in the ministry of Jesus, mm -hmm. um, he actually, if you, if you read this all the way through, sure. he actually uh, states or he quotes um, Isaiah right. like a, a few centuries right. uh, before um, his ministry. Right. Uh, this was like a fulfillment of prophecy. This was a fulfillment of him stepping into um, a restoration right. mode, right. you know, maybe for all mankind. Right. Um, is the Lord um, still in the restoration business today? Absolutely. God is still in the restoration business today mm -hmm. and forevermore. Mm -hmm. I like that part of the scripture where uh, it says, for your shame. Uh -huh. and, and that is instead of the reproach and humiliation, which we all go through, which mm -hmm. we all will experience. Yeah. Um, we have all had some shameful times, sure. some sure. shameful sure. days. Sure. We've all had some shameful moments. And if the truth be told, you know, we, we have done some shameful things. Sure. Um, but nevertheless, uh, the, 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 the act of restoration is still there. Sure. Uh, for our humiliation or for our humility, for our reproach, mm -hmm. restoration is still there. So, so God is a, a God of faith. Yes. And it is impossible to come to him mm -hmm. uh, without faith. Right. But God... God is God. He is God. And he can see Absolutely. he can see through your sin. Yes, he can. And by his grace, yes. and by his blood, by, his by blood. the finished work of the cross, yes. he can restore you yes. to a uh, rightful relationship Absolutely. with him. Absolutely. So um, what can you talk to me about relationship? Well, re relationship, first of all, um, you look at the word relationship, relate, mm. relation. Mm. Uh, you have to be able to be in a position and a place where you're honest with yourself. Sure. When you're talking about relationship. Sure. Uh, and you're talking about being relatable. Sure. God already knows us. The Bible sure. says he knows every hair on our head. Uh -huh. He knows us from when we were created in our mother's womb. Sure. And so to be, have, to have a relationship we need to be honest. Mm. We need to be honest with ourselves. Mm. We need to be honest to the fact to, to, to say that we know where we have been, what we have done, where we're trying to go, and even to the fact to where we are now. And to say, God, we need your restorative power. Yeah. 
that we can agree sure. that we've done some things, sure. we've said some things, we've gone some places. And so, yes, we want to make sure that we have a relationship with him. Yeah. We want our relationship to be pure. We want it to be honest. We want it to be without any deceit mm -hmm. because God knows. Sure. God knows. Yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, good. And the other part is, um, we we're talking about your shame. Yeah. We have to come before God in a humble way, sure. but also in a bold manner. Yeah. Uh, we cannot be afraid. We cannot uh, be fearful of a mighty God. However, yeah. we need to have reverence for him. Uh, respect. We need to have respect. Sure. Got to have respect. Got to have respect. Sure. Uh, the part of the text I was looking at, yeah. they say you shall have double a double inheritance, a, a reward, but you got to go through something sure. to get the double. Sure. The double just not going to come. Sure. It has to be some labor, it has to be some pain, some opposition um, for the double to come. And we know that it, that it is going to come. God sure. granted that to us. There, there has to be an action of faith. It has to have. Uh, has, put forward. Have to have faith. <laughs> faith without works <laughs> is dead. It's dead. You got to have faith. So uh, would, you, would you agree with the statement, the heart of God is love. Of course, absolutely. Now, now, can people sin too much for a holy God? The Bible says mm -hmm. that all have sinned sure. and come short of the glory of yes, God. Yes. However, I don't think that we can sin too much for a holy God because God is love. Yeah. However, sin Things yeah. in the nostrils of God. Sure. And so we should not continue on in sin. Sure. We should not willfully sin. Sure. We should not practice sin. Sure. It should be some repentance sure. when we do sin. Sure. However, that's not to say that because you sin, God is going to turn his back on you. No, there are consequences good. for sin. Good, good. However, God still loves us. Sure. But we have to know that God wants to get us in a restorative state. Sure. He wants us to be in a repentive state sure. so that he can use us. Again, you talked about restoration uh, being restored back to the formal way. Sure. Uh, for the greater. Sure. And that's what we want. We want to be restored for the greater. Do you, do you think that uh, before God... You know, it talks about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in the in the end times, and the, and the greater uh, there'll be a greater anointing, uh, right. a greater outpouring in the end. Um, in order to receive that, we must be in that um, we must be in that uh, restoration right. uh, mode right. in order to receive uh, what He's about to right. to give or what He's about to pour out upon His people. Absolutely. Uh, do you do you think that um, when you read about when you read and study about Israel, right? It seems like there was a pattern to them. They they always seem to fall away, and they always seem to worship other gods. But yet the Lord, time and time again, He restored them. And that's the blessing of it. <laughs> that's the blessing of it. You just said it. Time and time again, He yeah. restored them. Sure. We serve a faithful God. Sure. And that just that just goes to show and says, Dr. Scavelli, that no matter where we are mm. or what we have done, sure. if he can restore Israel, so shall it be unto us. Yeah. That we have not done anything so wrong. Yeah. We have not yeah. gotten so low yeah. that God cannot reach down and pick us up sure. and restore us. We're living in a day and age and a time, Dr. Scavelli, where we need restoration. Yes, we do. We need the restorative power of God. Mm -hmm. We need his glory to be restored back into our homes, mm -hmm. into our families, sure. into our churches, sure. into our marriages, into our jobs, our daily walk. We need that restorative power. We need restoration daily. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that restoration is a powerful thing. Yes. It is it's an awesome gift yes. um, to have, yes. to be able to restore one another and yeah. also to be restored in God, sure. to be restored in Him. Uh, the other part that I, I wanted to talk to about too, it, 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 it talks about in that part of the text, mm -hmm. it says, and for confusion. Yeah. And the word confusion here in the text, when I was looking at it, it means the same as blush. 
okay. or shame and sure. refers to um, of the scenes of humiliation and sorrow and which the nation had passed through uh, account of its sins, which Israel had given account of its sins. And so there was some humiliation there. There was some sorrow for there. But that's how we should be. Yeah. There should be some sorrowful moments sure. when we do sin. Yeah. But to know that we can't stay there. Because yeah. that's the confusion. Yeah. Sin yeah. is confusion. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it brings about confusion. Yeah. But we need to know that we have to get past the confusion state. Dr. Wright, is there, um, is there power in the blood? There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. So without the blood, without the finished work of the cross, there actually can be uh, no restoration. No restoration. For man uh, at all, correct? That's right. And God says he wishes for no man or woman to perish in a place called hell. But all should come to the, all should come. the knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and King. Dr. Wright, what about, uh, what about grace? His grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. One thing about God's grace yeah. is that we need to understand is that we can't play with it. Yeah. Oftentimes, we as people, uh, we, we, we slip and slide on sure. grace. Sure. You know, even in our even in our humanistic ways, even in our human nature, you know, all oh, grace is in place, and that's true. Mm -hmm. That grace is in place, but we cannot take God's grace for granted. We cannot take it as a toy that say, "Okay, well, we can do this because grace is in place." Mm -hmm. I thank God for His grace, yeah. and I know something about His grace. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the grace of God. In my life, sure. in, in the grace of God being ever so present, sure. I don't know where I would be. <laughs> and we should be grateful and humble, and we should be uh, all praise should go unto God and go to Him for the grace that He extends to us on a daily basis. Yeah. On a daily basis. I, I think... Um I think it was David who said that his mercy, his mercy endures forever. forever. Yes. And um, if you're watching this show right now and you think you're too great a sinner, you think you've uh, done such a evil, evil uh, sin that God would not love you or God would not forgive you. Remember, David said his mercy, his mercy uh, endures forever. And David, if you, when you really read about David, mm -hmm. David did some pretty. Uh, uh, let's say questionable, questionable things. That's <laughs> question, right. Questionable things. Uh, uh, but he had the heart of the king. Yes, sir. In his hand. And, and, and uh, I think he he was restored. He was restored. He was restored despite all he did. And uh, there's a, a great example of him being restored because God loves a repentant heart. That's right. Uh, one who comes to Him. Anything else you want to touch on, sir? Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to pull the other part out. We talked about uh, the shame, and we talked yeah. about the double and the confusion. Yeah. But the other part of that text, Dr. Scavelli, uh, in Isaiah 61 and verse 7, it says, "They shall rejoice." Okay. I like to say, "We shall rejoice." Okay. And there, there is here a change from second in yeah. the text yeah. to a third person. Sure. A change which is not unfrequent in Isaiah, the same persons or however is intended. But we need to know that once the shame has come, yeah. we've got the double. Sure. Now we got to rejoice. There has to be a reaction to the action. It has to be a response okay. to what has been done. Uh, we, again, being restored, once we become restored, we need to rejoice. Uh, and it's in, and then the other part of that says, in in their portion, that is, we shall be permitted mm -hmm. to rejoice. Okay. We 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 shall we we shall be allowed to it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like we have to do it uh, to rejoice in the privilege in the privileges that God has granted to us, <laughs> that He has restored us. Sure. It's a privilege. Sure. To be restored. Sure. It's a privilege to know that God did not leave us sure. in the state in which he found us. Sure. And then not only that, it says there will be more than compensation. Hmm. And that's the rejoicing part that hmm. there will be more than compensation hmm. for all the calamities hmm. which we have endured. Sure. We know that on that day, yeah. When the Lord shall crack the sky, hmm. all the hell that we've gone through that sure. we endured, that sure. we live right. 
if we live holy, if we accept him as our Lord and personal, as Jesus Christ, our personal Savior, we know that despite no matter what the calamity is, no mm. matter what we've gone through, great shall be that reward. I like that. Uh, God said he'll never leave us. Never leave us. God said he'll never forsake never us. Never forsake us. Unless you forsake him. That's right. But uh, God's arms are always open. Uh, God's ears are open. God, God actually wants you to come to him. That's right. And, and to uh, ask him in to your heart. So, uh, well, you know, a lot of damage happened. Um, I mean, like Adam and Eve. Yes, sir. They were actually born, uh, I don't want to say, well, yeah, born, created, perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. They didn't need to be restored. Right. And then, you know, sin came in, you know, and they actually fell away. Mm -hmm. They fell out of relationship. Right. They opened a door to uh, to sin. Right. Now, the, the whole reason why Jesus came, basically, is to restore that original um, relationship. Right. So, um, can you say anything about that? Maybe, Jesus, maybe about the cross or, or whatever, yeah, whatever you have in your I, mind. Absolutely. Jesus came for us. Yes, sir. Uh, the Bible says, for God so loved the world. Yes, sir. Uh, John 3, 16, that he gave his yeah. only begotten son. Yeah. And what we need to understand is, and we don't need to take it lightly, that he sent his only son yes. into this world. Yeah. Jesus did not live out a life like you and I. Sure. His life was cut short because he realized that he had a mission to fulfill. Sure. And if it was not for the cross, we wouldn't be here today. Yes, sir. And so we just passed Palm Sunday and celebrated the resurrection. We have to thank God for that. Mm. We have to thank God for the resurrection. Yes, sir. Again, thank you for the resurrection, because if it was no resurrection, there'd be no restoration. Yes, sir. And so, and so, and so we need to understand that, that he came so that we can have life. Yes, sir. Have it more abundantly. Yes, sir. We're free mortal agents. Yes. But we also need to understand that we need to choose yes. who we're going to serve. Yes. We can't serve the devil. Sure. And we can't serve Jesus at the same sure. time. The Bible says we have to choose ye this day. Yes. We can't go back and forth. We can't vacillate. The reason is because when you're talking about restoration, mm -hmm. you can't keep going back and forth mm. with the restoration. Sure. Once you're restored, yeah. stand up, gird yourself up, move on to the next thing. Yes, sir. And that's the kind of God we serve. Yeah. We have to know that we can't keep falling over the same thing. Sure. Falling into the same sin. Sure. Falling into the same trap. Yes, restoration is there, but we don't want to abuse it. It's so much more for us to go beyond the restoration. And the text says that the double, mm -hmm. the double is really implied for the formal things that we possess. The formal, the formerly possession, uh, the blessings that would be greatly increased and multiplied. I want my blessings to be increased and multiplied. Sure. So I don't want to keep going back to the same thing because I can't afford for my blessing, we can't afford for our blessings to be decreased. Yeah. We need them to be multiplied. Yeah. We need them to be increased. And that's the beauty of Jesus dying sure. on the cross. Sure. And being resurrected. And being resurrected. <laughs> with all power. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, that power was also uh, imparted yes. uh, unto us. Unto us. Uh, that we can go out and preach unto the uh, end of the earth. That's right. You know, to bring this message of restoration to a dead and dying world. You know, you know, the Lord loves you. Yes, he does. The Lord loves us. I mean, you know, uh, Dr. Wright and I are friends, and, and uh, you know, we, we both... Um, preach at the same church, and, uh, you know, none of us are perfect. None of us. I I'll be the first one to tell you yeah, I'm not perfect. But, you know, without Jesus. I Me mean, neither, Doc. <laughs> without the blood. Yes. Without without that finished work, work of the cross. That's it, right. It was a work. Finished work of the cross. No man or woman, you know, um, can be restored. Can be restored. And, and, God, and God is not sitting in heaven with a big old hammer you know trying to hammer you down into the ground God is saying come to me come to me come to me come as you are and you know I will restore you I will make you whole that's right I will make you 
pure. That's right. You know, uh, the the word uh, constantly says that. You know, uh, if my people are well, called, called by, by my name, yes, sir, <laughs> will humble themselves. Yes, sir. And you know, uh, you know, it's a daily thing. Yes, sir. You know, I mean, you know, you have to pray. You have to read your Bible. You have to ha uh, go to church. You have to commune with each other. Yeah. You know, the Apostle Paul said to uh, pray for one another. That's right. You know, to uh, lift each other up in, uh, uh, you know, in psalms and hymns and and to um, just be there. That's right. <laughs> because we're the church. We're the church. We're the church as empowered by the Holy Spirit. Anything else you want to say, sir? Um, just, just in closing with that. Yeah. We also need to understand that when, you t when, when, when we're talking about uh, going back through the text and the shame and, yeah. and the portion and the land and the double. Yeah. It also means for us too, Dr. Scavelli, yeah. to have the privilege yeah. with God. Yeah. Who would not want privilege with God? Yeah. Who would not want that? It would be far greater that had been enjoyed. We want, we want favor. Yeah. The Bible says to be found with favor with God and man. Yeah. And so we want to have that kind of favor with God. Yeah. We want to have the kind of favor with man. Yeah. But we need to make sure that we stay in a restorative state, that we're yeah. always in a state of humility. Sure. But also at a place where we can help one another, sure. where we're not so pompous and so pious yeah. Yeah. and so high up on the ladder that we cannot help the other person sure. get their restoration that we need. Sure. Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> Sorry. I, just, I, I know where you're going. Am I my brother's keeper? Uh, that was good. I like that. But, you know, without, without the church, without church members, without, without born-again folks praying for one Absolutely. another, you know, uh, that's what the church is designed uh, to be. Yes. You know? the, the church is like a, a hospital. That's right. You know, you have all kinds of folk come in. You know, everyone's coming uh, from different backgrounds mm -hmm. and, and different nationalities, and that doesn't really matter. You know, the the whole thing is to be restored unto Him, be washed and clean by the by the blood. That's right. You know. All right, sir. Anything else you want to? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, um, I think, because um, it says for your shame. For right? your shame. You know, I think a lot of people. Um, just my opinion now. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people get get hung up in that realm, you know, and they don't truly um, understand grace, right? You know, uh, they don't truly um, understand mercy, right? You know, because it, uh, like say, um, say there's a woman who um, was a prostitute, mm -hmm. and she's been with many, many, um, you know. Um, Right. Clientele. Right, right. I, I think sometimes, or if you're a drug addict, or you, you, whatever you're saying, you know, it doesn't really matter. I think a lot of people get hung up, I'm too great a sinner, but Jesus, when he died at the cross, he died for all. All. A-L-L. All. A-L-L. All. A -L -L. And that word all in the Greek means all. All. All sin. But you need to do your part. That's right. You need to come to him and the Lord will do his part. He will, he will. And I just want to say, Dr. Scavelli, just want to pause there. We need to understand that no matter where we go in life or what we have done, mm -hmm. or even what we're about to do, mm -hmm. be honest, we need to know that God loves us. Yes. We don't need to let people beat us over the head about our past. Mm -hmm. Don't let your past define who you are right now. Mm -hmm. Don't let your past dictate where you're going in the future. We all need to deal with our past. Sure. And say, so, you know what? Yes, that was what I did. Sure. I enjoyed it when I did it. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> I had fun when I was doing it. Sure. I loved the fact that I was doing it. Sure. But look at where I am now. Yeah. And that's the restoration part. Yeah. That's the rejoicing part. Yeah. That's the double. Yeah. Because I can look back yeah. Yeah. not too far ago yeah. and say, look where the Lord has brought me sure. from. Absolutely. And we as a people, as the, as the called out body, the ecclesiastical body ah. of Christ, we need to understand that we can't look down on nobody. We need to understand that it does not matter, Dr. Scavelli, mm -hmm. what we did. Sure how we did it, sure. when we did it, yeah. why we were doing it. Yeah. We need to know that God can get us right where we are and restore us, sure. bring us back. 
Sure. Revive us. Yeah. That thing which is dead or yeah. dormanted or yeah. that is that, that seemed to have dissipated. Sure. That God can restore that yeah. to a greater yeah. state than it was before. We have to understand as people, yeah. as the called out body, mm -hmm. that we can't keep people yeah. where they are. Sure. We need to know that it, restoration has to come. Yeah. We have to build them up to the place where they can move forward yeah. and move yeah. on and grow yeah. in the things of God. Yeah. So that we can experience and possess yeah. the double and the everlasting joy. <laughs> well said, Dr. Wright. Now, what about, uh, what about people out there that are watching mm -hmm. right now? As we stated before, right. you know, they, they don't feel uh, restored. They don't feel really good about themselves right, right now. Right. Tell them about the restoration of the cross and what Jesus can do for them. Jesus can save your soul. The Bible says if you, if you believe in your heart, confess mm -hmm. with your mouth. Mm -hmm. All it takes is a confession. Yes, sir. Speak it out yes, your mouth. Yes, sir. But what you, what, what you must know is that it doesn't matter where you are in life. Mm. It doesn't matter what you used to be or what you're doing. It's the fact that you say, God, here I am, mm. old wretched man. Here yeah. I am, this prostitute, this drug dealer, sure. this one that's dealing with sexual immorality, the sure. one that's dealing sure. with issues and depression and anxiety. Here I am. Sure. I need you to take me. Yeah. I want to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Clean me up. Mm -hmm. Restore me so that I can be used for your glory and that you can get the glory. No man could do it. No woman can do it. God has to do it. Yes, sir. God has, he, he is the, res he is the, not only the resurrection, but yeah. he's a restore. Sure. And he has that restoration power. Yeah. And we need to know that it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are. Sure. It doesn't, and, and that's why I want to let the people know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, son. It doesn't matter, daughter, where you are. Yeah. Know that God loves you. Yeah. He loves you. Yeah. He loves you. Yeah. And he can move you from that place mm -hmm. where it seems like it's the end of the road. Sure. To know that there is a light at the end of that tunnel. Mm -hmm. So if you're lost right now, just say this quick prayer. Yes. Say, Jesus. Yes. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I believe you are Lord. Yes. I confess right now you are Lord. You are Lord. Save me. Yes, God. Wash me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Yes. Use me. Let me never be the same never again. Never be the same. Jesus, I accept you as Lord and King. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer, contact us, and uh, may the Lord bless you. Dr. Wright, thank you for being on thank the show. Thank you, Dr. Scavelli. Uh-huh. And we'll see you next time. Blessings to God you. God bless you.